Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this series, we will learn about form recognizer. So let's get started. Form recognizer is a cognitive or cloud service that uses ML model to analyze and extract the text from the document. It returns the structure JSON as a response. If we talk about the accuracy of the document, then we get more than 95%. With the help of form recognizer, we can train custom model as well as if we want, we can use a pre-built model. Pre-built model is ready to use for a different kind of document such as invoice, receipt, ID, business cards. Let's see how we can use pre-built model and in later videos we'll see how we can create a custom model as well. So this is a uh, documentation portal for SEO. Okay. This is my Azure website for creating custom model or if you want to use a pre-built model, we can use it. Okay. And I have logged into my Azure account. Okay, let's create a resource first. Okay, we'll search for form recognizer. Okay. We'll select this one. Okay, we'll click on create. Okay, here we have to give our resource group name or we can create a new one. Okay, I will create a new one. Okay, and we'll give name as Y002 resource group form recognizer. Okay, we'll click on okay and then naming for form recognizer so i will write y002 form recognizer okay and pressing tab i have this license free one okay so we'll click on review and create Okay, validation is successful. Okay, we'll click on create again. Okay. Now it's deploy deploying the resource, so it will take some time. So it has created this cognitive service. Okay, now I'll go to resource. Okay. So I'm on a overview page. I will click on this key and endpoint. I need this endpoint and uh, any one of this key. So I will copy this endpoint from here and I will go back to this particular website and then I will choose this option use pre-built model to get data. And here I have to mention API key and endpoint. So first I will mention this endpoint. I will go back to form recognizer then I will copy this key and we'll pass this key here okay so here we have form type option 
so either we can select invoice receipt business card and id okay so we'll test this invoice first and i have to browse for a file okay let's select this one okay let's click on run analysis here we got the output okay let's check uh, each field one by one so you can see <coughs> billing address is highlighted in maroon color okay then billing address recipient is this value tech group plus and customer name is also the same one due date is mentioned here 17032021 yeah this one is also correct invoice date okay so it's highlighting here invoice date is zero three zero three two zero two one okay invoice id is highlighting in this color okay so it is slt21 hyphen two two oblique triple zero one okay then we have invoice total is nine five five two four okay let's move this one okay so we have nine five five two four okay now check we'll check the table line item we'll click on this one so here we can see entire table data it's also correct okay you can match like this okay if we check shipping address okay where is that shipping address this is my shipping address here we don't have a specific field so it has mapped this particular value then shipping address recipient subtotal subtotal is down so yeah seven double seven comma zero three five point five two yeah this one is also correct total tax total tax is nine two four four then we have few more fields okay i will scroll up and if you want to download this report we can download in json as well as in csv format let's download csv first open that file okay so here we have a two folder okay so we have this key value pair okay let's open this one so here we can see that key name value then confidence score particular page number and then bounding box okay so it's extracting like this and output is yeah, is good okay let's close this one okay and if we check this table okay here we have the data uh, but it's for a field line item not for the table line item somehow it's not working for table in this excel okay that's fine we can check for another format that is in JSON. Okay, let's open this folder. So we have this folder. Let's open this one. So we have got this data. So it's in a JSON format. Okay, let's check whether we have a table line item or not. Okay, for table line item we have description as the item name one okay let's look for this one I will search for it okay let's search for item okay here is that first field 
okay item name one and it's uh, item name two so the json body is having all the values so, or somehow it's not working for excel okay but so all those values uh, present in a json file that's all for this video in a next video we'll see how it work for other document types such as recipient uh, business card and id and then we'll see how we can create a custom model that's all for this video thank you for watching